Hello everyone, this is Mike from TCAT's Deep Final Tracks. Uh, I wanted to do a video tonight uh, and show you all my vinyl finds for the, for the month of May 2022. Um, there's quite a few here and I also have quite a few CDs so I need to get right on with it. Probably not going to have a lot of time to talk about uh, the records much. But I did want to get on here and show you what I found. So first of all, I have a stack of CDs to go through. Uh, these are all found at the thrift store because that's usually where I pick up my CDs unless I'm looking for something specific. Um, so to start off, I got Beastie Boys licensed to the old. Great album by the Beast Boys. Uh, Gorillas, Humans. This is one of their later albums. Uh, after the Still Wheels release, they uh, recorded a live album called Flashpoint. This is the Rolling Stones. It was recorded live in 1989. The 1990 Steel, Wor Steel Wheels slash Urban Jungle World Tour. Uh, I always like some Billy Idol, so this is Billy Idol's icon. Um, basically, a bunch of his hits. A CD from a band called One Day as a Lion. I always like to pick up stuff that looks interesting, and this definitely looked interesting. I have no idea what it sounds like yet, but it is an EP. There's uh, only five songs on that. Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. This is the Pacific Age. Uh, the soundtrack from Juno. This one's got a great, a bunch of great artists. Dialogue from the movie, music from the movie. Good CD. The Pat Metheny Group. This one is called Still Life Talking. Um, this is a personal favorite of mine. <laughs> The, this is not the typical cover. This is just what it came with. The cover seems to be missing. But uh, this is called Yellowstone, the Music of Nature. And this is music from uh, Mannheim Steamroller. That music would be stuff that has already been released, but it also has a lot of uh, classical music on here, too. I'm not sure who the what the orchestra is, but it is conducted by Chip Davis, and the orchestra is just beautiful on this. this is why I, I like this particular album. Um, it's got the Pines of Rome on it, which is a favorite favorite classical track of mine. Um, there's also the Primavera by Vivaldi, uh, and the Grand Canyon Suite by Grove is also on this, plus a lot of tracks by Chip Davis and Mannheim Steamroller. I uh, got the Black Crows. This one is the Southern Harmony and Musical Companion. And also another one from the Black Crows. Three Snakes and One Charm. This one is a promo, has a promo gold stamp on it. Uh, Miles Davis. This one is Amandla. I've never heard this Miles Davis album, so I'm excited to give it a listen. Wynton Marsalis. And he's uh, also along with Ellis Marsalis. This is called Joe Cool Blues. They've got some tracks from Charlie Brown, 
Got some other tracks on there. Nickel Creek. This one is uh, this side. Nickel Creek is a, a great band, of course. They play a lot of the new bluegrass sound. Uh, Fred J. Eaglesmith. This is Millie's Cafe. And one more CD. Metallica hardwired to self-destruct. This is a uh, out. It's got two CDs. I'm down off it there. It's my cat crawling around on top of my speakers. <laughs> Hello, Norman. Okay. Now for some records. I got a big stack of records to go through. Um, first of all, I showed this earlier for I think a contest entry. Um, this one is called is Mickey Jump. Mickey Jump I had never heard of before picking this one up. The name of the album is Some People Can't Dance. Kind of a whimsical cover there. But one of the things that interests me about this uh, particular album, oh, and these first ones I picked up at a Goodwill for $2.50 a piece. And my cat wants to get out, so hold on just a sec. this up because of his involvement with Dave Edmonds and Nick Lowe, both of who I uh, really admire for, as musicians, and it's actually a pretty decent album. Uh, there's a couple of weak tracks on it, for the most part uh, I really enjoy this album. Uh, also picked up Ultravox 3 into 1. This is a uh, actually a collection, a um, collection of early songs some coming off of their early albums and also uh, a non-album single and B-side. So, pretty good album. Uh, but Ultravox, early Ultravox music that uh, I'd never really heard before. And it comes on the Antilles label. Continuing on from uh, my Goodwill pickups, again for $2.50, this is the double album, Best of Rod Stewart, Volume 2. Now the cover has some water damage on it, but uh, the records themselves are both really good condition. Uh, not always necessarily looking for Rod Stewart albums, but I like some of the earlier stuff. And this is a good collection on Mercury. Uh, and the Volume 1 Best of Rod Stewart is really good, so uh, this continues on in that vein. It is a gatefold, but I can't open up the gatefold because of the water damage. Uh, also, Sniffing the Tears, Fickle Heart. If you don't remember this album, um, this is the band that did drive, drive, Driver's Seat. Uh, very famous popular song back in the, I think, early 80s, maybe late 70s. Um, I have actually had this album before and, and uh, you know, saw it for 250. I thought it was a pretty good album then with a couple of weak tracks, but for the most part it's pretty good. So I figured I'd pick that up for 250. Uh, Banana, Bananarama. This one is called Deep Sea Skiving. Of course, everybody knows the Bananarama song, Cruel Summer. Um, figured I'd give this one a try. I don't know much by Bananarama, but 
It did have a poster in it. Basically the album cover in a wall size. And uh, last but not least from the from Goodwill is Billy Joel's 52nd Street. Again, I've had this one several different times. It always seems to seem to find out I sell it off, but this is one album of Billy Joel's that I really like. So there's that. Uh, also, uh, this past weekend, I was across the border over at Port Huron. Um, I now have a a pickup box, a mailing box there, so I can pick up stuff from the states. Uh, mostly things that I order helps to save on the uh, high shipping costs that are out there now. So I went into uh, a secondhand store, kind of like a secondhand furniture store, and they have some had some records in there for a dollar a piece. So I picked some up. The first one did not have the record in it. Robin Trower's In City Dreams, and I knew it didn't have the record in it, but I wanted the cover, because the cover I have, I already have a copy of it, the cover is really bad on it, and this cover is like really pristine, so I picked it up to upgrade my cover. The record I have is in good shape, so let me throw out the cover. Uh, also, for a dollar, I picked up Dan Fogelberg's Souvenirs, again one of those uh, artists that you pick up when you see them for a good price because their music is pretty good. And I noticed Joe Walsh plays on a lot of these songs. Joe Walsh helped out Dan Fogelberg quite often and uh, is pretty much featured on every song on this album. Um, Al Jarreau. This is simply called Jarreau. Great jazz singer, if you've never heard him. Uh, passed away here just within the last couple of years. Uh, haven't heard this album. I've heard some of his others that I really like, so I'm looking forward to this one. And uh, also for a dollar each, I uh, started an uh, my Spyro Gyra collection. Um, I don't have any albums from Spyro Gyra. They had a bunch of them there, so I picked up everything I found there. This is Access All Areas. This one is a live album. It's the Piggy Old Two Records. Uh, Spyro Gyra plays kind of a easy listening jazz, but uh, it's actually really good music from what I've heard. Uh, this is Incognito. Uh, Stories Without Words. And Alternating Currents. That's a good way to start up a, a library from um, from a particular artist at a dollar a piece. Also, I found the Marshall Tucker Band's Tuckerized, also for a dollar. Um, now, yesterday I went out yard selling and hit a pretty good mother load of records. Um, the first ones I'm going to show here were five dollars each. Uh, first of all, well, I decided I was, well, I wanted to pick up the Jefferson Starship Jefferson Airplane records and I've been having a hard time finding them in good shape lately. I used to have pretty much all of them, but I uh, had to get rid of them a few years back, so I found Earth, which is one of my favorites from them. This one does not have the inner sleeve. 
but uh, these records are in pristine condition, just beautiful. The inner sleeves are great shape. The records are nice and clean, just beautiful. Scratch free. So there's the Earth. Also got Freedom at point zero. This one is. Uh, was released in the 80s, I believe. It has the song Jane on it. And um, the band decided to go into a more heavier um, sound on this particular album. And also probably a more, a sound that's more uh, fit for the 80s. Also, I got Modern Times, and uh, the last one I showed, Prima Point Zero, Grace Slick was not with the band for that album. She did return for Modern Times, but not as a regular member. You notice her face isn't one of the ones in the gatefold. However, she is mentioned in the credits as doing mostly background vocals. So she didn't have a big role in this particular album, but she was there apparently. And I also got um, this one here. This is Dragonfly. And uh, Grace Slick, Paul Kantner are the two artists, the two that are mentioned on the front cover, but pretty much got the same basic lineup on the back. And also, all of those were five dollars, and so was this one, Saga's Head or T Heads or Tails. Uh, I've had this album before too, and it's one of my favorite Saga albums. Uh, this was released after their major album, Worlds Apart, and it's more guitar-centered than what Worlds Apart was, but still a great album, still very progressive. It's before they headed off into a uh, temporary commercial direction so good album and then these others I picked up for ten dollars each uh, Bob Dylan's Empire Burlesque this is one Bob Dylan album I've never had before so I try to pick up everything I see from him again these are all in pristine condition there's the inner sleeve record. Just very clean. Also got Bob Dylan's Slow Train Coming. Been looking for a good copy of this for quite a while. And this one, as you can see, is beautiful. Just like, almost like new. Same thing with the record inside. Uh, this one was kind of a surprise, so it, because I've seen copies of this go for quite a bit of money, but it was ten dollars, and it's in the best condition I've ever found of this particular record. Babe Ruth, first bass. This is great progressive psych rock, and one that I've been looking for for quite a while, but still in a decent condition, which this one is obviously. I mean, look at this on the Harvest label, just beautiful. Clean, no scratches, beautiful. So I was happy to see that, especially a cover that clean. Uh, also, we got Audience. This is called Lunch. Uh, this is a band, also a progressive band. I haven't heard so much from them, so I'm excited to give this a try. Uh, Robert Saw My Turntable uh, featured a couple of their albums on one of his videos a while back. And I've been looking for them ever since. And found this beautiful copy. This is on the Butterfly Electra label. And another one that I've been... Uh, been tempted to pick up several times, but the album and the cover has been in terrible shape. 
found it. It looks brand new. Spirits, 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus. Another great album. Really excited to find this one in such beautiful condition. Look at this. Just you almost expect the gatefold to crack when you open because it almost feels like new. Um, this is on the blue epic label, so I believe it might be a reissue. I'm pretty sure it is. But still, just beautiful shape. And the last thing I got for $10 is this double album by War, Platinum Jazz. Two discs in this one. And uh, here's the gatefold. Another great album. This one is on MCA. Again, pristine as pristine as ever. I've never seen these in such great condition, so happy to get those. And last of all, a couple of new records that I picked up. Uh, first of all, I've been a big fan of Jack White, the White Stripes, and Jack White's solo albums, so I picked up his new album. Fear of the Dawn is the name of this. I love this album cover. I think it's beautiful. There's the back. Can't wait to give this one a spin. I've got a lot to go through, as you can see, so I'll be pretty busy. This is on the... Feels like it might be 180 gram, something like that. Very nice. And uh, actually found and an unopened, it's, yes, it's a reissue. I think the reissue wasn't too many years ago, but I was kind of a little surprised to find this. Tools Opiate. Uh, this is, uh, I think, their first EP that they put out before they released any albums, before they were, before they made it big. happy to find this one. And the labels are fairly plain. So that's it. I'd say not a bad month. Um, picked up a lot of great stuff there. And uh, also got some great VCLT from Embryonic Robot or Brian, which I which I did a video for earlier this month. And also from JT's Record Room which I did a video for earlier today. So anyway, thank you for watching and uh, I'll hopefully have some time to go through and listen to these records, make some comments on them in later videos. But uh, again, thank you for watching and we'll talk to you all later.